Hey guys, welcome to another video about top places on Madeira. Today we are going to show you 5 best hikes on the island. Madeira is an ideal destination for hiking lovers. There are dozens of trails, hundreds of kilometers and countless sceneries to enjoy while hiking in Madeira. There are trails of all preferences and all places. That means that anyone of any age can have the experience of exploring Madeira. But before we start, let's quickly talk about safety, because even the easiest hike might get dangerous if you're not well prepared. So be sure to make your own research about the trail. You must know how long the trail is, how long it's gonna take you and how difficult it is. Be sure you have enough food and water with you and don't forget to have proper clothes and shoes. Hey guys, I hope you are ready for our first hike. This is Vera de Delorano. This is one of our favorite hikes in Madeira, so we are very happy to show it to you today. The total length of this point-to-point -point hike is 12 kilometers. It starts in Machico and follows a cliffside road along the eastern side of the island to end in the town of Porto da Cruz. We've hiked this trail for a few times already, and for us the best way to do it is to start from Porto da Cruz. And from there, you can right away start the most exciting part of the trail. After 5 kilometers, you are going to get to one of the most beautiful viewpoints on Madeira. This is Boca de Risco. From here, you can continue your hike to Machico for another 5 kilometers, or return to your car with the same way. If you're up for a challenge, you will love our next hike. We start at the viewpoint Boca do Corrida and heading all the way up to Pico Grande. Pico Grande isn't the highest mountain of Madeira, but it stands in the center of the island and it's most likely the best lookout mountain of the island, offering panoramic views across the whole Nans Valley. The first kilometer is already behind us. The trail is very pleasant and it's spoiling us with beautiful views. Cannot wait to see what's next. The total length of this hike is 10 kilometers there and back, with an incline of 850 meters. The trail starts very pleasant, but after about 3 kilometers, it changes to a very steep and exhausting climb. And it continues like this to the very end. So, the last push and we will be on the small plateau below the top of Pico Grande. Oh wow, I can actually see it from here. You see it? Yeah. Seems like last 300 meters ahead of us and then a short climb up to the rock. We'll see how this will be. It's about 7 p.m. The sunset should be about half an hour from now. And shortly after that, we're heading back down. Yeah, see you at the top. We just got to the top, the view is fantastic. We have a 360 degree panorama around the whole island. Wow, we can see the sea from here, from every side. Isn't Madeira fantastic? Any thoughts? Fantastic view from up here. At sunset, the sky brightened with beautiful shades of pink and purple, creating a stunning spectacle for us. Shortly after that, we made our way back to the car following the same trail. If you're planning on visiting Madeira, you surely know this place already. The Trail Pier 1 isn't so popular without a reason. It's also called the Hike on Peaks, as on your way you'll walk between the highest mountains on Madeira. The total length of this hike is 6 kilometers. Its biggest difficulty is the incline of over 500 meters, which you'll have to make twice as you'll return to the starting point of the trail. But if you're up for a challenge, we're sure this will be the highlight of your trip to Madeira. We just got to the first tunnel on our way. We're going to have few of them and the longest one is going to be 150 meters. Let's go! Right now we're at the highest point of Madeira Island. This is Pico de Reiva, 
Sorry for my breath. <laughs> The best part about Pico do Riva is that it offers one of the most beautiful panoramic views on the island. From the very top, you can see the whole island and have a sense how huge and beautiful it is. If you don't organize any transportation for yourself, after a short break at Pico do Riva, you must head back to where you started. Our next hike is the longest one on our list. Even though it can last the entire day, you won't feel bored at any time. I think this trail is very interesting because it's versatile. It starts with a levada, then it changes to a mountain trail. On our way, we should pass through several waterfalls, from which one is very big. We will go through a mountain ridge, Madara Old Forest, we will see a few viewpoints, and now we're getting into a tunnel. Very narrow, very short. Pier 17 is a loop trail. It has around 17 kilometers in total, with incline around 700 meters. We've made 4 kilometers already, and so far it's perfectly flat. It's supposed to take you around 7 hours to finish the whole trail, but as we're recording and making photos on the way, it's definitely gonna take us longer. But we're having fun, so that's okay. Now it's time for another tunnel, so let's have a look and check it out. just got to the waterfall and it's amazing. The funniest part that we almost missed it. Came up that the waterfall which we wanted to see the most isn't on an actual trail. So we had to go back to the second tunnel, follow a very narrow path, 15 minutes and we're here. And look at this one. It's stunning. So we're very happy we came back. After visiting the waterfall you'll start the difficult part of the trail. Here you'll feel the incline. You'll get to climb up to the mountain ridge, facing hundreds of stairs, up and down the hills, walking through old Madarian forest, heading to the most spectacular part of the hike. The last part of the trail is finally getting flat. It will reward you with some breathtaking views. Not too many people take a challenge to hike PR-17, but those who do will get a chance to see real Madeira and get to embark a lifetime adventure. This is the first view of Madeira that you can see from your airplane window when you arrive here. The rough cliffs of Ponta do São Lorenzo offer a stunning scenery for a morning walk. We wanted to watch the sunrise from the viewpoint at the trail's end, so we begin our journey early to arrive there on time. Now I can say that it was definitely worth it. The entire trail is 7 kilometers long and has an incline of 500 meters. It's a very popular hike, so make sure to start it early. Now guys, we actually can see the viewpoints, which we didn't see before, as it was really dark still. and. I have to say that they're all very beautiful. After taking few photos from the viewpoint at the end of the trail, you will have to walk back the same way towards the starting point of our hike. Thank you for watching our video about top hikes on Madeira. Be sure you check our other videos about top places on the island. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, because we have new travel videos and guides coming up every week. So see you in the next one. Ciao!